you want to talk about some fucked up shit? <laughs> That's very fucked up. Talk That's like true. some fun. Hello, and welcome to today's episode of How Fucked Up Is Fucked Up. This is a series that runs on the subject of how fucked up fucked up is. From famous inventors to architectural designs, we share with you the facts of the fucked up. I'm your host, Haley. Joined with me today is Yara. <laughs> Very classy, Yara. What are you drinking today? Mama Juana. And it's from the Dominican. It's really good. And they give you these like wood chips and a bottle. And yeah, you put in whatever alcohol you want. And it acts like, um, it acts like an aphrodisiac. But <laughs> on today's episode of How Fucked Up is Fucked Up, we take a look at dangerous architectural designs that are so fucked up, it's unfucking believable. Uh, architecture, it dates back to the Neolithic period. That's around 10, how do you say these words again? Is it 10,000 BC? I don't 10, know. Is that where the dinosaurs were? Yes, well, I'll show a history timeline. Whoops. After further research, we discovered that the age of the dinosaurs was a little bit before the Neolithic era as seen here. This is caveman days. This is like when architecture was starting. It's when people stopped living in caves and started getting a little more creative with their living spaces. Yeah. Hey, honey, I really want a room that I can poop in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it would be nice to have some like ventilation, you know, and like Maybe like I can bathe in that room too. Like, you know, we can be, we can call it like a bathing room. And so, yeah, that's when it all started around 10,000 BC that people started deciding that they wanted rooms. Yeah, honestly, thinking about that, I mean, what were they doing? There was probably a high divorce rate. Imagine sharing one giant space with your whole family and wake up in the morning, you see the fucking family, go to bed at night, see the fucking family. So after that happened, we have, we have a little bit of history here, you know? architecture started getting pretty crazy then we had like you know the the parthenon do you know how to say this one we have the pyramids of Khafra. Ka i don't even know if i'm going to say these things i'm just going to be like look at all this beautiful history and then it's going to be pictures with the names of them under the <laughs> church of Hagia irene in the first courtyard of the topakuka palace istanbul turkey that one's pretty so architecture starts to get a little bit more fucked up we got this weird looking building that looks like a fan and then this house in Poland that is like yeah what's looks, up with that one looks like it got put through a fun house but then now we're gonna get into our main one so we're talking about dangerous and fucked up architecture right stuff that is not really safely sound and somehow has managed to be designed and built and uh, how people exactly learn from their mistakes. Are you ready, Yara, for our first- I am, shoot. Yes. Up architectural design. Go. You may have heard of this one. It is called the Walt Disney Concert Hall in Los Angeles. Have you heard of it? No, I don't know this one. <laughs> okay, so if, as you can see the photo in front of you, it's a beautiful, makeshift building with sheets of metal wrapped around and it's like very like artistic it almost reminds me of like australia there's the uh, sydney opera house i think have you yeah seen but house? this is what just reminds me of the microsoft windows icon you know <laughs> are you going to show the interior um yeah let's show the interior oh, I oh my god good. it's beautiful yeah it's beautiful it's gorgeous Exactly. Look at how fancy it's beautiful. Wow. Now the designer of this guy, Frank Geary, he's actually from Toronto. He's now 91 years old and he was uh, in 2004, he was commissioned to design Walt Disney Hall in Los Angeles. So he was in his 70s. Yeah, yeah, he's an old guy now. And he had he had been doing a lot of cool stuff. Like he was in charge of designing the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbano, Spain. So this one looks similar to the opera house. And that's what I think was a little bit inspired. He was like, I like the shininess. I like the foldingness. I think it's fun. Are those mirrors? I don't think they're mirrors, but they're shiny metal. Wait, what is it? It's, oh, it's titanium foldings. 
It's really nice. It is really nice. The fucked up thing about this beautiful, beautiful building was this. Unlike the museum in Spain, the metallic surface on the Disney concert hall was very reflective. And the sun would reflect off into the neighborhood, causing traffic accidents. You're driving to work and all of a sudden you're blinded by the light. It would cause the heat in the houses to rise. People hate when you touch the thermostat and you're like literally warming up entire houses. It's a hazard. Oh my God. Yeah. No accidents that I think resulted in death. No fires? No fires as far as I'm concerned. That would be a good time to light someone's house on fire and just be like, it was the Disney Hall that did it. They had to sand down, sandblast all the really bad areas to prevent the reflection. That operation cost $180,000. But that's, I think, just a small fraction of what they were probably getting sued, you know? That was fucked up. That was very fucked up. Our next one is fucked up, but in the cutest way. This is the Takasugi N, which translates directly to a tea house built too high. Okay. You know, it sounds like something from Dr. Seuss. The name, a tea house built too high. That's such a Dr. Seuss title. It looks like out of a nightmare. (laughs) <laughs> like why would you do that like why would you have a house on two legs yeah would would you go for a tea there if it was like the best cup of tea in the world no they could throw it out of the window Rapunzel can come out of there and give it to me through her hair I don't care no I mean in theory it doesn't look stable but it also like I mean it, it looks well built like there's a roof there's like a little patio <laughs> how did they even book this like well, I will give you some information. Terunubu Fujimori designed and built the single room structure for his own use. It is accessible only by freestanding ladders propped up against one of the trees and features an interior covered with plaster and bamboo mats. I only imagine his wife getting mad at him and just throwing those ladders and you know, just oh. leaving him up there. <laughs> You spent all your fucking day in that damn tree house. Exactly. <laughs> Just stay there. I don't want to see your face anymore. I think this is more tradition based why he had to make his own tea house. I mean, even the fact that there's a word that translates into tea house built too high. That's already grew up being like, I can't wait to build my tea house too high. I've always wanted a tree house, not a tea house. Well, it's kind it's a of a tree house. house. You know, in those like movies where you're having um, a big transition in your life and like you have to stop at the tea house and have tea with the guy who's going to teach you a lesson about life you know wisdom yes wisdom i feel like that would happen here (laughs) rules to these tea tea house building they're preferred not to involve an architect or a skilled carpenter Um, i think this needs a lot of experience this needs a lot of skill like i'm so impressed this is not an architect who built this this is just spot on like wow if you can make this work and it's functional and you're not dropping through whatever the ground of the floor of the whatever of the house that's amazing the tradition is to make it fucked up he he's just like this is mine leave me alone do some precious tea matcha (laughs) are you ready for our third and final Yes, please. Uh, this is an architectural design that is so dangerous, and oh, you better believe me. When I say fucked up, I mean fucked up. This shit more is fucked up than the treehouse? Tree it's house? more fucked up the treehouse. It's more dangerous than those reflective panels on the Disney concert hall. Okay. This, my friend, is called Action Park, nicknamed Traction Park, and Accident Park and Class Action Park. <laughs> I want to go there. <laughs> That's very fucked up. Class That's action. like some Final Destination fucked up kind of shit. Okay, what what happened there? Well, a lot happened, but it seems like you know the place you want to be. This was a park that was active from 1978 to 1996 in the Vernon Townships of New Jersey. 1996, it's like the 80s. 
People are already pretty fucked up on Like, anyone who's going to an action park is probably fucked up on some drugs. Just saying. You know? <laughs> so it's popular, and it went hand-in-hand hand with a reputation for poorly designed rides. This is so scary. Under-trained and underage staff and intoxicated guests and staff had a pretty poor safety record. Now, when I was Googling this, it states that at least six people have died as a result of the mishaps on the rides at the park, which two things kind of fucked me up about that statement. At least. At least. <laughs> six. At least six. What does that even mean, at least? Like, at least six people, but caused by mishaps. Not just like, you know, trick what fell and smacked mishaps? their head. Like, the ride was broken. Wow. I know, that's so uncomfortable. Wow. I mean, that's literally my worst fear as a kid, going to amusement parks and, like, your belt coming off or something. Oh, or my God, absolutely. Oh, no, 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 You hold on to that for dear life. Like, you're you oh, like, no. oh, my God. Action Park was open for 18 years and at least six people. So let's look at some of these fucked up pictures and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's like, looks like they're being shot out into like mucky lake water. Yeah, it looks like they're going into like a ditch, <laughs> like a swamp. Out of like sewer tubes though, that's, that's what's freaking me out. That really drives me crazy is this one with the loop in it. Yes! <laughs> that's just, that's the definition of fucked up. Imagine it gets stuck up there or something. Because if you don't have enough speed, you just get to the top and you fall from the top to the bottom. Yeah. Of the <laughs> they come out of the tube and it's a tarp with looks like four feet to slide into. You could build this in your garage or something, you know? Like, I wouldn't, but like you could. The crazy thing was little effort was ever made to, uh, by state regulators to address any of the issues. In later years, personal injury lawsuits led to the closure um, of increasing numbers of the rides and eventually the entire park closed in 1996. But it doesn't end there. On February 9th, 1998, the ownership was changed and the park was renovated and repaired some rides removed completely, but it's still like it remains open. They just changed the name. So it's now Mountain Creek Water Park, but it's an open water park. Um, I find it a little unsettling. Just couldn't you just build condos or something? What are they going to repair? Like, everything needs changing. Like, would you have gone in the 80s? I mean, probably. It seems like a pretty hip place to be. No, it's fucked up. That was very fucked up. Thank you for the information. That was pretty fucked up. <laughs> this sure. and the house. I think it's safe to say that these architectural designs are fucked up. You know, some in the you fucked that one up kind of way, and others in like you're an adorable, creative, traditional Japanese man building a tea house. That's cute in a fucked up way. But Action Park, that is, that is just pretty plain fucked up. Yeah. We have uh, concluded is uh, you should enjoy your life, you should build some shit, but you shouldn't kill people. And you might die either way. Yeah, but thank you for joining us on this week's episode of How Fucked Up Is Fucked Up. I'm your host Haley, this was Yara, and you guys have a good day. That was fucked up. That was fucked up. All right. I only straightened the front of my hair. So that's <laughs> like all fucked up. Now that's fucked up. That was fucked up. <sighs> yeah, that's it. You're going to edit it, eh? So if I, if I say anything stupid, you can remove it and like. Yeah.